firmly planted on South African soil, and one with nature. It follows a harrowing nine months. Prof Caribus flew home to much fanfare yesterday and finally slept in his own bed. A poignant moment when he met his grandson for the first time. The whole family was here, or everybody that's in South Africa. And uh, I hadn't seen the one grandchild, was, was a new one, who was only three months old, and I hadn't met him before. Uh, he didn't recognize me either. Um, but uh, it was very pleasant. I mean, we had a very, very nice uh, Friday evening dinner with, with the whole family. Yeah. He says his story is an important one for would-be travelers to the UAE. Well, I think it's very difficult to advise anybody. I mean, you've just got to be very careful of uh, doing anything that could be held against you. And it's, it's very difficult to know what that can be. I mean, all I did was treat a child with leukemia, I mean, which is what I was supposed to be there for. And suddenly I'm accused of murdering her. You know, so it's, it's a very difficult country, you know, because the expatriates are second-rate citizens. The retired professor is still passionate about medicine. Now he will spend quality time with family, carefully suturing his life together again. Lumko Jimlongo, SABC News, Cape Town.